Good morning. Can we help you? My name is Robert Bianca. I have a reservation for a room. Sign here. This is Annie. Hi, Annie. Hello. Uh, here we are. Do I give you some money now? No. We show the room is prepaid. Oh, right. Vincent did that. I forgot. Here we go. Oh, that's OK. I'll take care of him. OK. Right this way. 417. Thanks, Jewel. You know what, Annie? They've even got someone here who will polish your shoes if you leave them in the hall. What's the matter? I'm worried about my mother. Everything's going to be OK. We have to start doing things for ourselves now. We have to show them we can do everything just fine. All right. What do we do now? Make a reservation for dinner. One, two, three. Come on, can't you move it along a little? One, two, Just three. give the lady nine dollars, she'll give you 15 cents change. What's the big deal? Excuse me. Is there a problem? Yeah, him. Oh, you need help, friend? Uh, no, I can do it by myself. 850, 875, 880. 85. Thank you, sir. I'm sure she'll like it. I didn't do that very fast, did I? I have trouble when there's lots of coins. Don't worry about it. Mr. Bianco? Yes, Billy Griffin. Security? Miss Francis asked me to come down and introduce myself. Thank you, I appreciate it. So, uh, what can I do for you? Nothing, I hope. I'm not even sure I should be troubling anyone with this, but my brother is a guest in the hotel. It, it was all his idea, he saved up for months. I'm sorry, I'm ahead of myself. My brother's retarded, Mr. Griffin. He's 25 years old, but his IQ is a little below 70. His progress so far is that of about a 12-year-old. What? What is it? I think I may have already met your brother. What happened? What did he do? Not a thing. Everything's fine. I'm not sure I know what it is you think I should do. He's been going to transitional living classes for retarded citizens. They try as best they can to teach people like Robert to lead independent lives. I love my brother, Mr. Griffin. I want to see him succeed, but I can't help but be a little bit worried. Relax. I'm sure he's going to handle things just fine. Maybe you sort of could check in on him sometime, just to see. I'll do what I can. I think I'm going to go upstairs and say hello. Can this just be between you and me? My brother may be slow, but he's very independent. Annie, do you remember what Mr. Lefford said at the school? What? He said a responsible person puts away their own clothes. Hi, pal. How you doing? Hi. I'm not checking up on you. I just missed you. Wanted to say hi. 
Hi. Hello. Robert, you didn't tell me you were planning to have company this weekend. Are you going to be the, the best man? Best man? This is Annie. We're going to be married. Why can't Annie be here? Because I wanted to talk to you alone. I'm very upset with you, Robert. Why didn't you tell me the truth? Because I knew you'd be angry with me, and see? OK, I won't be angry. But you have a lot to learn about the real world before you can think about getting married. Well, they taught us everything we need to know at the school. How to read a bus schedule. How much soap to put in the laundry machine. How to take care of my money. Annie even knows how to make three different kinds of dinner. Robert, there's so much more to marriage than that. You mean about sex? Well, we know all about that, too. We haven't done it yet, but we're going to. We got a license. How old is Annie? 24. Do her parents know about this? They don't, do they? Annie's only got a mother, and she's not like you, Vincent. She says Annie's dumb. It's not true. She's not. OK, I, I understand, but you got to promise me something. You get permission from Annie's mother before you do anything, OK? Here. I've been saving it. It's not a real diamond, but the man at the store said you can't tell the difference. I don't care. I think it's pretty. Remember me? Oh, sure. Sure, hi. Hi. Uh, Annie, uh, this is the nice man who helped me out in the gift shop. Hi. Hi. Uh, won't you sit down? Oh, thank you. So, uh, how was dinner? It was pretty good. Mm -hmm. Except for there were these little black salty things all over the baked potato. Uh, then you enjoyed your stay. No problems? Th this place is great. If you need anything, anything at all, you just ask the concierge, OK? I'll write it down for you. Hey! I did something wrong, didn't I? Are we going to do it tonight? Do you want to? Yes. Me too. But I thought you said you wanted to wait until we got married. Well, they make us practice everything else in school. Maybe we should see if we can do this too.
love you, Robert. I love you too, Annie. Crookedest street in the world here, and it's only one block long. Mama was real angry. She wants me to come home. You want to? No. I want to go sightseeing with you, just, just like we planned. Good. And then after we go down the crookedest street, I thought maybe we could go. Go over here to Fisherman's Wharf. And then after Fisherman's Wharf, maybe we can go up into the park and go for a walk. They have a zoo there, and I hear it's real pretty. Hello, Annie. Hello, Mama. You're Robert, aren't you? Annie talks about you all the time. I talk about her all the time, too. You didn't tell me where you were going. You know better than that. Now don't be mad at Annie, Mrs. Goldman. You've got to forget this nonsense about getting married. Come, we're going home. No. You'll do as I say. This is ridiculous. Whoever put such an idea into your head? I'm 24 years old, Mama. I can make decisions on my own now. No, you can't! You don't know what you're saying. Mama, the, the only times I, I feel really good are when I'm with Robert. I don't want you to take that away from me. going out now to see the crookedest street in the world. Your mom's real mad. She'll be okay. She gets mad lots of times. Mostly since my father died. I never had a father or a mother. Vincent's the only person that ever took care of me. Vincent says that even though I'm slow, I should always try and do things like normal people. A am I normal, Robert? My mother says I'm not. That's not so. I'm slow, like you. You learned the multiplication tables, didn't you? Me a whole year. How'd you find me? There are 14 Biancas in the phone book. You were number 10. Why don't you sit down? I was wondering if you had any thoughts on how we can separate the children. Well, they're not children, they're fully grown. Well, of course they are. But they're still children. I mean, this nonsense about they're getting married, it's absurd. Is it? Are you suggesting we let them go through with it? I just wondered what argument we used to keep them apart. Robert has a job, he walks to work, he makes enough money to pay for his little apartment and buy groceries. What more would they need? I can't believe what I'm hearing. Marriages between retarded people have no more and no less chance of success than marriages between PhDs. What if they have children? I already talked to Robert about that. He's smart enough to know that he and Annie will have enough trouble without that added responsibility. Mrs. Goldman, you sent your daughter to a transitional living school. Why, if you weren't willing to let her try and do it? You are crazy, Mr. Bianca. And I did not come here to be lectured on how to raise my child. Wait, wait. Look around at the people on this wharf. 
Where is the rose garden that they were all promised? Don't you think that all these people face big problems, setbacks, even tragedies in their lives? It's not a perfect world for any of us. Should we deny Robert and Andy that same struggle? Because they're slow. Big salty pretzels? Okay. Looking for something special? Oh, I see your girlfriend there likes parrots, and I've got some carved wooden ones up here. Would you like to take a look? Sure, I'd like that. I'm real mad at you. We said if one of us got lost, we'd meet at the hotel. I lost my trolley map. Aren't you even gonna kiss me? I did good, huh? Yep, pretty smart. What? What's pretty smart? You tell him. Well, she just took me up on my offer. She called the concierge. Excuse me. I'm Miss Goldman. Hi, I'm Mark Denning, the director of guest relations. Your mother asked me to tell you that she's waiting in the coffee shop and she'd like to speak with you. I'll go with you. No. I have to do this by myself. You always said I, I couldn't do anything for myself. That wasn't right, Mother. I've protected you just like any mother would. It's been my responsibility. Mr. Lefford at the school. He said it, it's okay to make mistakes. School. I'm sorry I ever allowed you to go there. Well, then I wouldn't have met Robert. Robert makes me feel good about myself. It, he makes me feel like, like I'm normal. You're not normal. I am. I, I'm just slow. When we hold each other, it's like everything's gonna be okay. Mama, why are you crying? I'm 
Don't you understand, Annie? You're all I've got in the world. Ever since your father died, it's been just you and me. It frightens me so to think about losing you. Second thoughts? Well, if I waited long enough, I probably would have. It's not easy to let go. They're gonna need us now more than ever. I'll be around. I'm proud of you, Robert, the way you're taking care of it all, the music, the flowers. Where did you find the minister? I ask the concierge for one. I think we can begin now. <laughs> Who gives away the bride? Oh, that's me. <laughs> Dearly beloved, we are gathered here in the sight of God to join this man and this woman in holy matrimony. It is written that it is not good for a man to be alone. Therefore, I will make a helper for him. For this reason, a man will be united to his wife, and the two will become one. What God has joined together, let no man put asunder. <laughs> 